On this episode of Old School Monster Life, we leave the earthquake hauler parked and head down to Florida to crew for Denver Ectern Camp and Venom. Last week, Denver called me with Venom, and uh, he said, hey, I'm doing a show for the circus. Do you want a crew for me? I said, sure. I got nothing going on. Well, I thought it was the circus, but turns out there's an actual circus that puts on monster truck shows, monster trucks with a Z.com. So we drove down here to Florida, and we're setting up for our show this weekend. There's four shows total. We're only scheduled to do three of them. And uh, we did the first show last night. Denver was off, so we have the next three consecutive shows. So the Saturday matinee, Saturday night, and then the Sunday show we'll be performing in. Or he will be. I'm just trying to keep the truck folded together. But last show's, or last night's show was great, so hopefully we can do three more just like it, maybe make it a little bit better, and start getting to the action. So, early morning Saturday, we're getting ready for the day. We've got to air up the tires. Denver's got a couple slow leakers, so we're going to go around and make sure the truck's ready to go. Then we got to go get credentials so we can get in and out of the fairground without any hassle. But yep, here we are, trying to get set for the, morning, set for the day. Staring up tires. Generators running. Air compressors running. I got my coffee, so let's get the monster truck. Alright, first show of the day. It's a matinee show. We're getting ready to park the trucks. Just went through, nut and bolted everything. Everybody else is getting in position. like Little D is going to park it. <laughs> Carry it, bandit, you lazy dog. There you go. Come on, good boy, come on. Come on. Right here. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> now, come. Oh, yeah, confuse it. <laughs> Come on, 
All right, everybody's all lined up for the pit party. I think it's going to start in about an hour, and then we'll start getting a show on the road. You didn't get them? Look at little D. Maybe it is all sunglasses and autographs. Yep. <laughs> I've been trying to sign autographs here, but I don't have any Sharpies, so. Hell, man. Driver 101, always carry two Sharpies with you. Yeah, I will. Hey, found Overkill Evolution. I don't know what the fuck happened to Mikey. He must have gotten an accident or something. Looking good now. Not Mikey. Matter. Upgraded version. <laughs> Say something to the fans watching. Fabulous. Wow, that was hard. That's going to have to be edited out. <laughs> All set up for the show. We're in the hot pits now. We're going to get some cords so we can keep the batteries charged while the show is going on. But almost ready for showtime. going to wheelie off the van today. for intermission we got nothing really remarkable to say Denver's truck's been running good nothing's broke had a rear steer issue and it fixed itself which is terrifying because we don't know we don't know if it's gonna mess up again but you know we'll just have to deal with that when the time comes but getting ready to get back to it so let's get back to freestyle yeah.
second show on Saturday was a bit of a nightmare. The show itself went great. We blew a shock hose and uh, the engine kept hydrolocking and we couldn't figure out why. Starter went bad. Uh, brought it back over here, got the shock apart, got the hose off, had one made last night. And then we dumped the trans fluid because it was uh, just starting to slip. We got new fluid in it now. It's, it seems real strong. Uh, put the hose on it this morning, put the starter on it last night. Come back this morning, we go to move it over for pit party. And uh, starter solenoid quit working. And then the barrel valve on the injection started pissing flu uh, fuel everywhere. So, man. Hardcore thrash to get all the little stuff done and taken care of, but everything's back together and we're ready for showtime. But hey, that's monster truck and that's all the stuff you don't see that goes on behind the scenes. Did I do it? What do you say? Oh, the fuel! I yeah, I hope I fucking You need to stop doing fucking fuel. Why? I can finally do them. Huh? No, he shouldn't do them. <laughs> no, he still playing games. <laughs> hey, he, he done though. Got a little bit of deja vu. Thrashed all night on the truck to get it working. Just to tear the axle out in the second hit and wheelies. Feels like Springfield 2018 all over again. Came up and broke the four link bar, broke both tabs off. Here's where they belong. We got it bolted to the D-ring right now so we can get it in the trailer, but you know, stretched everything out and made a mess. But it's really not that bad. Bent shock, crushed header tube. Pretty sure I can pull that out. But I guess that's monster truck. Break it down and get it on the trailer. Well, we made it back home. Left Florida about 6 o'clock-ish last night. Got home at 11 o'clock this morning. Drove straight through. Well, we took turns. But, uh, time to get ready for the next show, which will be in three weeks. Now, this weekend I crewed for Denver. In three weeks I get to race Denver, so that should be interesting. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell us what you think. Tell us how we're doing. And as always, we will see you down the road.